All right, so today with the Muse products, we're gonna be showing you how to check or install a new seat beeper. You start off with removing this plug cover, which is located here. There's four Phillips head screws you'll take loose. So you get that off. <clears throat> you'll take the e-port off. There's one Phillips head screw here that you'll remove. You'll remove that, and then there's a zip tie that holds this e-port together. You'll cut that zip tie to get that out of your way. Take your antenna off that's here, move it all the way forward. And then you have three Phillips heads holding this cover on. There's one here, here, and here. There's three total. Once you get those loose, I already have loose. Speed this up. Lift up the cover and just pull straight back. Then when you get the cover off, the seat beeper, <coughs> the seat beeper is located right here. And first, before replacing the seat beeper, there'll be um, some connectors here holding all these wires together you want to check those and make sure that all wires are intact like these are make sure none of the wires are loose or exposed and if they are then check the seat if they are check the put them back together check the seat beeper and see if that works if it doesn't then you'll take these wire nuts loose and then actually take the seat beeper off and replace it and it's just two Phillips head screws one in the front, one in the back here. And then when you take those wire nuts loose, these wires will just come apart. And you'll take your new seat beeper and it'll have these wing nuts on it. Take those loose and then you're doing the same thing. You'll just connect, you'll take this connector off here And after you cut your wires on the new seat beeper, you'll reconnect all together. There'll be a gray wire here as well that goes to the LED and you'll connect that to make sure the seat beeper and LED is working. You want all three wires on the black and red side connected together, black to black, red to red. And then once you get those connected together, black to black, red to red, you'll connect, take your connector, plug it back in, and then take your actual seat beeper your two screws back in here one in the front one in the back oh. always put the back one in first I believe that's easier in your front Okay, once you get that done, then you'll make sure all the wires are clear in here because whenever you put the cover back on, it's easy to snag one and unplug something or tear a wire, rip a wire. So make sure you got all of that out of the way. Put your cover back on. And then you just slide your cover back up in there like so. And then the same thing, you have your three screws, snug all those back up. Tighten all those. And then take your e-port. Put it back behind these two wires here. Have your one Phillips head screw, which you'll put back in. Okay. 
and then you'll have a black zip tie and you'll zip tie this together here. So it doesn't move around. Just like that. 